I'm a real big stifler for the things I do in my life that's involved in my time. What do you need me to help you hold? You, you, you call me here on a Sunday to help you hold something. See, that's two different things. Me helping you hold something and me helping you assemble something, that's two completely different ball games. I could buy another car, I could buy another house, brain, kneecap, throat, but one thing you cannot buy, you cannot buy one second of time back in your life. See, when my friend got me to his house, and I seen all this concrete stacked up, you know, four or five bags high, six wide. Don't try to trick somebody and tell them one thing to get them to come by, but it's a whole nother situation that you got going on. Good evening, and welcome to another episode of the Mindset Master Podcast. I'm your host, Tony Reed, and I'm also the proprietor of the podcast. Now, in today's episode, we're going to be talking about stop getting other people involved in your shenanigans. And if you want to learn more about this topic, stay tuned to the end of this episode. Now, the reason why I'm going to talk about this today, it's going to be because I've been noticing a lot of people in my life and people who I know, they've been getting involved in other people's shenanigans, things that has absolutely nothing to do with them. They'll somehow get sucked into it. Now, I'm not saying it's nothing wrong with, with, with helping people. I'm not implying that at all because I am not that kind of person. I love helping out people. But what I'm implying is stop letting other people bring you into their mix and you have nothing to do with their mix. That's what I'm talking about. So that's what this episode is going to be about. Let me give you a quick example of what I'm talking about. A buddy of mine, he wants to do some home improvement things around his house. He makes really good money, but he doesn't want to pay the professional people to come out to his home to build his garage. He want to build one of those like Pagonas. He want to build stuff like that around his house for him and his wife. He went on the internet and he went to some of those really big box stores. He bought all of this wood. He bought all of this metal, all of this stuff like that. When he bought it, he bought it with the intention of somebody else helping him put that stuff together. If you don't have any experience with building things, you quite naturally would pay a professional, you know, contractor, carpenter, you know, something like that to actually come out, do the work that you are needing to have done around your home. So what my buddy done was he wind up calling me. He was like, hey, Reed, man, um, next weekend, can you come by my house and can you help me hold something? So I was like, yeah. That next week, I went by my buddy's house and I got over there and I saw like skids of wood and I saw like bags of ready mix concrete. I'm looking like, man, you, you, you about to do a whole construction job, ain't you? He was like, well, I was hoping my buddy, Tony, would help me. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. You asked me, can I help you hold something? Now, when you ask me to help you hold something, that means you need me to hold one end of this piece of wood. You hold the other end of this piece of wood. You drill through the wall to secure the wood to the wall. That's me helping you hold something. Me helping you hold something does not involve you tricking me to get to your house and to help you assemble a Garado and a Pagona. See, that's what I'm saying. Stop getting other people involved in your shenanigans. Now, my buddy, he's more than well and capable of paying somebody to come do that. He has a whole, whole bunch of pride. And with him having a whole bunch of pride, he's too proud to ask a professional for help, but he's not too proud to ask an amateur, Tony Reed, his buddy, for help. Now, again, I don't mind helping out my friend. I don't mind that. But here's the thing that I mind. Why would my friend go out there and buy all of this stuff pretending that he can build it, but he knew that he could not build it on his own without inconveniencing somebody else. I'm a real big stifler for the things I do in my life that's involved in my time. My friend, he doesn't really respect time. He could actually care less about time. And see, that's where we differ at. Me and my buddy, we have a whole lot of things in common. You know, we're both family men, we're both married, we both ride motorcycles, we both like adventurous things, but 
that. The difference is going to be I'm real particular about my time that I spend doing things that I don't want to do nor that I have any interest in really doing. I would rather for my friend to have asked me to borrow $1,000 and I'd have been happy to give it to him to help him pay somebody to come fix this stuff. What wind up happening was, he was like, hey, Tony, man, um, I got a case of uh, high life in the freezer. My wife can get them out. You want me to get some beer for you? I was like, hold on. What do you need me to help you hold? You, you, you call me here on a Sunday to help you hold something. I don't see, I'm looking around the yard and stuff. I'm like, I don't see nothing that I need to help you hold. I see stuff that I need to help you assemble. See, that's two different things. Me helping you hold something and me helping you assemble something, that's two completely different ball games. And see, that's what I was saying about how I felt like my friend tricked me. He knew that he needed me to do more than just hold something for him. He knew if he would have asked me, hey, Tony, man, can you come by my house and spend the whole day with me building and constructing this stuff for me and my wife, I would have told him, heck no. He knows that. I definitely value my time more than anything in life. Time to me, Tony Reed, it may not be important to you, but time to me is very important in my life because that's the only thing that I cannot get back in life. I could buy another car. I could buy another house. I could buy another liver, lung, brain, kneecap, throat. You can buy another everything in life that you want to buy in life. But one thing you cannot buy, you cannot buy one second of time back in your life. If I know that, I'm not gonna do anything that's gonna occupy my time just to be cool or just to try to, you know, fit in with the click or with the crowd and stuff like that. And see, when my friend got me to his house and I seen all this concrete stacked up, you know, four or five bags high, six wide, and again, I don't mind helping out my friends, but don't try to trick somebody and tell them one thing to get them to come by, but it's a whole nother situation that you got going on. Once I saw all that concrete in my friend's backyard and I told him no, my friend got mad at me. He was like, Tony, what's your problem? You done changed. I haven't changed, man. What do you mean I've changed? Oh man, since you've been doing your YouTube videos, you don't have no time for your friends no more. I'm like, yes I do. I have time for my friends. If I didn't have time for my friends, I wouldn't be at your house right now, man. I just don't have time to get involved in my friends' shenanigans. See, most people try to pass things on to somebody else. They try to pass a task on to somebody else. And then when their friends or their family doesn't want to take on that task that that person is asking them to do, for some odd reason, they'll get mad because you told them no. And that's why you gotta be real, real leery with your time. You have to be real anal about where you spend your time and what you spend your time on. Because people will try to spend your time for you in a way that doesn't make absolutely any sense. And see, people who waste time, they realistically are good people, but I noticed they don't have a lot of drive in life. They don't have a lot of force pushing behind them to do the things that they need to do in life to make a better life for themselves and for their family. They look for a bailout. They act like it's 2008. They act like it's a bailout. They act like somebody is going supposed to, supposed to throw that rope in and pull that come along and then pull them up out of the mud. See, this ain't 08. This ain't no bailout. So stop thinking that, 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 that people are supposed to bail you out whenever you do your shenanigans. See, your shenanigans are going to be your shenanigans. Stop trying to get other people in the world involved in your shenanigans. Be a human being. Be a man. Be a woman. Be a person. Handle your own business. Now, if you want to get somebody else involved in your shenanigans, make sure to please actually tell them the truth about what you need them to help you do. So that way, they can make the informed decision to whether or not that is a task that they want to do in their day or not. Never try to trick anybody 
and try to reel them in to a sadistic type of thing that you got in back of your brain. Because once you start tricking people, people will not want to do things with you, for you, or anything like that. That's why I'm making this episode today to try to help guide you because sometimes in life you might go through the same thing that I'm going through with my buddy right now. You know, it could be like a friendship on the line, like it could be our friendship could be on the line. Because see, I don't like when people trick me. Now, all my friend had to have done, and our friendship possibly would not have been on the line, was just say, Tony, I need for you to help me. Can you please come by here and help me build this stuff in my backyard? Instead of trying to trick me, and instead of trying to get me to, to, to ease by there, to make me blow my whole weekend, helping you build and construct and stuff like that. By trade, I'm a master barber. By trade, I'm a life coach. I'm not a builder. I'm not a constructor. I'm not a contractor. Never be that person who gets other people involved in your shenanigans. Always be that person. If you do want somebody to help you do something in life, always tell them the truth. Always tell them exactly what they're going to be getting into. If you want them to help you build a garage, tell them that. If you want them to help you build a pontoon boat, tell them that. Don't tell nobody that you want them to help you hold something and then when they get to your house they want you to help them build a whole 350 small block car motor you didn't tell me that never be that person to trick people and when you become that person who tricks people people don't want to tell you when they're off they don't want to have anything to do with you they're going to be passively aggressive towards you and you're not really going to have a good relationship with people and people friendships will start to kind of fade once you start sucking people into your shenanigans and you don't tell them the truth and that about wraps it up for today's episode until next time I'll catch you later.